Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing great and all having a good weekend while well, the beginning of the weekend. <laughs> Um, so today's video is something that I did make a video about on my TikTok, which I'll show here. And I really wanted to just elaborate onto that. So I came across this lipstick, which I don't know, I was about to show you, but it didn't come out there. <laughs> so I came across this lipstick, which is the world's smallest lipstick. I know that sounds crazy, but it is so tiny and I cannot wait to share what it looks like with you guys. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so here is here. Now, I have really small hands, you guys. Like, I really have tiny, tiny hands. But this is the lipstick, and this is what it looks like. It is from Fuller Brush, and it is called Sparkling Gold. I don't know what that means. I would love to look some more into this. I literally just received this the other day, and the dogs are running in behind me. <laughs> um, So it is so small. It's generally, like so small in my hand like compared to my pinky and i have so small pinkies you guys like anybody that knows me knows that my pinkies are really really small um so it is so tiny it's just insane like i think like i would love to have lipsticks like this out now but i'd be so scared to lose it <laughs> but it'd be really good you know how you can get those little bags that you can put your phone in and things like that and you only have enough room for like not even a lipstick but if they made them like this to fit in your bag this would be amazing. <laughs> so let's look at it in a little bit closer. Okay, so here it is closer up. And as you can see, it is so small, you guys. As you guys know, I collect a lot of lipsticks from the 50s. So this is it compared to an average size 50s lipstick because this lipstick is original from the 1950s. This is a compared to an average size lipstick of today and also compared to an average size 1950s lipstick. So as you can see, the lipstick is so tiny, you guys. It's just so small. I mean, this is an average size lipstick from today, which is like a normal size. You can get them from different places. Like I know the MAC one, maybe even the tiniest bit smaller, but it's pretty much the same size. This one's from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I have this one, which is, it is from Girlin, which is basically the same size. They're basically the same size. I know I'm making this look even awkward. <laughs> But it's just crazy how small it is. So let's look at the color. So the color from what I remember is like a, it's like an orangey red color. So here, are, excuse my nails. My nails are not the best right now. I've just been like painting over them. So I apologize. But here it is, you guys. It is, it's like really weird. It looks like it's melting all the time. I don't know why, but honestly, guys, I would never use this color. Um, not that I don't like the colour, I do like the colour, I just couldn't use this because as you guys know that makeup does go out a day and makeup from back then contained lead and some other dangerous stuff so I just like looking at it and looking at the colours and things like that, I couldn't put it on my lips, <laughs> I don't want to poison myself. So, but I just wanted to show you guys that little lipstick because it is so small. Now, I did have one from previous, which I did show you guys um, in another makeup video to show you guys my makeup lot, which I will put at the end of this video so you guys can see that um, because I do collect a lot of 1950s makeup and oh, here we go. So this was the smallest one I had originally. It is really tiny as well. It's like a, it's like a weird rectangle little guy. <laughs> Um, this one is from the brand Coty, so I don't know, I haven't really looked into it too much, um, but it is, this one's like a darker red and you push it up with your thumb. I don't really want to do that to be honest because I think it's all like melted inside, but as you can see it is like a dark dark red. Um, it does look like a nice red though, it looks like a nice one. Um, but that was the one that I thought was the smallest one that I could find. I do know that there is a brand out there today, which I will put a picture of right here. Um, and basically they sell little, they're like little lipsticks. Um, they're like little pill lipsticks they call them, but I've looked at it and compared the size and this one is smaller, <laughs> which is insane. It's just crazy. Now I do know that a lot of places like Avon and things like that did do samples back then, but this one actually isn't a sample, which is even crazier. <laughs> this one was actually just made by Fuller Brush, 
which I would love to find out more information about it to see if I can even find more of these. Now I did come across these on, I think it was like eBay or Etsy and I just received it in the mail with along with other little miniature makeup stuff. So it looks really, really cute. Like the whole collection is so cute. Um, but I just had to make this video to show you guys this look. guy is so small. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And I wish you all an amazing weekend and I'll speak to you guys very, very soon.